Now to Jerusalem, where the tension between Palestinian protesters and the Israeli police is escalating rapidly. The flashpoint today, the funeral for a young murder victim. Alex Ortiz has more from Israel. Wrapped in a Palestinian flag, the body of 17-year-old Mohammed Abu Khader was carried aloft by thousands of mourners. In the sweltering heat, anger spilled over as furious Palestinians chanted slogans about blood and sacrifice. The boy's killing is widely seen as revenge for the murder of three Israeli teenagers whose bodies were discovered Monday. As the procession wound its way through the streets to the cemetery, Mohammed's mother collapsed. After the funeral, mourners poured out into the streets in their thousands. Here, the family and supporters of the murdered Palestinian teenager are marching together. There is a palpable sense of outrage in the air. Palestinian youth threw stones while Israeli police hit back with stun grenades and tear gas. It was the third day of rioting here and the worst street violence in a decade. These are scenes reminiscent of Jerusalem's darkest days. Today, surveillance video surfaced that the family claim shows the moment Mohammed was kidnapped outside his home. Mohanad El Jubara is a friend of the Khoder family. Boys and girls cannot now go outside their homes because they are afraid from kidnapping them. Police beefed up security all over Jerusalem today. At checkpoints leading into the old city, only men over 50 were allowed in to try and prevent further unrest. So far, both sides have managed to avoid full-blown confrontation, but the situation remains volatile. And Jim, in this atmosphere, all it would take is another casualty to provoke further bloodshed. Alex Ortiz covering for us in Tel Aviv tonight. Alex, thank you.